Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Why don't you just stick your own job and stop telling me how to do mine? Even if they're in inferior films, it's always a pleasure to see two horror icons face off. And Land of the Minotaur has Donald Pleasance and Peter Cushing. Are you a real baron? Is he a real baron? I am Baron Corifax. The film seems to draw on the Blind Dead series with a hint of the Wicker Man and the Exorcist on holiday in Greece. There's something terrible going on here. With the help of Pleasance's father, Roach, two archaeology students make an amazing discovery on a Greek island. The secret entrance. Hidden from generations of archaeologists by this thin layer of leaf mold. But inside... Those who enter the forbidden chamber of the Minotaur must die. Their female companion, who had other stuff to do... Who do the cooking? ...also vanishes shortly after. And another student turns up to look for the first three. Taxi. Which is probably where the movie should have started. Now Father Roach feels the need for more help, and it's back to the airport. Okay, has everyone taking part in the story got here? You've got to remember, I'm just a simple private detective. No idea why Roach calls this guy, as the priest is sure this is supernatural. Everything required for the well-equipped devil hunter, eh? And Detective Milo isn't. Thank God it's you. Who did you think it was? Old Nick? Now Peter Cushing's chauffeur comes to get them. Get in. Please. And off they go, leaving the girl, Laurie, who doesn't even know they've gone. We'll wait for you downstairs. OK. But I'm sure she'll be safe. Just because everybody else has been attacked doesn't mean... <laughs> Later in the film, they leave her again and... It's almost as if abandoning someone defenseless is a bad idea. I don't want to insult you, Father. OK, let's hit some basics. First, being kidnapped by a minotaur is not the same as being kidnapped... ...by Satan, Mephistopheles, Lucifer. That's cultural appropriation. Secondly, the minotaur has one goal. Father must die. What's stopping him? I believe the devil has taken possession of this village. He's right. The entire population is enthralled to the Minotaur. And where the devil did the whole village disappear to? So why not just kill right, him? Then. Peter Cushing yeah. has him at gunpoint, and it's not like anyone is going oh, to James. tell the police on their cult leader. I could cut you in half with this, and everyone would swear it was self-defense. Doesn't pull the trigger. The only real attempt is this. <laughs> But as the car speeds away... You lousy son of a... He's still alive. Surely the cultists hold all the cards. Except... Nice to see Peter Cushing on the other side of a cross for once, but... This is all it took. And take a look at the effect of holy water. Hey, Peter, you That's it. That's the big conclusion. He splashed them. Why didn't he do that earlier, like before these two got sacrificed? Land of the Minotaur is an odd film. Odd? Calling him Milo makes Ooh. no sense, and yet at the end... Oh, Maybe I'll need your help again. What help? He's done nothing. But the main issue remains Father Roach. You're probably right about one thing. At the start of the film, he tells the students where to find the tomb. I should never have told them the thing existed. Even though he knows previous visitors have died. If those children have disappeared, it won't be the first time it's happened in your village, Sergeant. Even though he knows about the Minotaur. Even though he could so easily have said, if you don't mind holding off a day or two, I just need to pop down there with a super soaker full of holy water. Then it's all yours. You act as if you haven't understood a word I said. Of course it's good to see Cushing and Pleasant's face off. Come on. This isn't the last time we'll meet. 
but maybe stick with the flesh of the fiends. Excellent. I'll give you seven guineas. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe, or for more Peter Cushing related reviews and others, have a look over here. Land of the Minotaur takes a Greek myth and appropriates it to a Christian context. What other films take the myths of one culture and use them to serve stories from another? Let us know in the comments below. No!